Welcome back to Operations Management. In our last session, we talked about what a process is. In general, we talked about how inputs enter into the process. They get transformed somehow through the use of resources, information, and management, and they create outputs from those inputs. But we never really talked about what makes a good process. So what does make a good process? In general, a good process is one that produces a good product or service. Every customer out there wants their product to meet or exceed their expectations, and that's what makes a good product. We always think about the customer when we're thinking about operations, whether that customer is a client, a person on the street, a person in a retail store, or somebody in another organization. That person is a customer, and when you provide them with a product or service, they are expecting something from you. And to make a good product or service, you have to meet or exceed their expectations. So how do we know whether we're making a good product? Well, the customer looks at a product from a variety of different perspectives. These are what we call our product attributes. First of all, how much is it going to cost them? That's their price, the price to the consumer. Another thing they are concerned about is when can I get it? That's what we call the product delivery response time. In addition, they want to know, can I make changes to this? Can I have variety? Can I customize it in some way? This is product variety. And lastly, does this product or service do what I want it to do? That's what we call product quality. Altogether, these are product attributes, and that is what a customer is looking for. So in order to make a good process, we have to be able to make those particular product attributes. To do that, we call these process competencies. If the customer is worried about how much it's going to cost them, the price of the product or service, we are concerned with how much it costs us to make that product or service. That's the process cost. If the customer is concerned about how quickly they will receive it, we are concerned on the inside of how quickly we can make the product or process, a product or service flow through the process. That's called the flow time. If they want to make changes to the product, customize it, then our process has to be flexible. It has to be able to adjust to the requirements of the customer. And lastly, the product has to meet or exceed the customer's expectations, which is quality, which means our process has to produce the product that's intended without defects. So when we bring this all together, we're saying that what the customer sees, the external attributes of the product have to relate directly to the process competency, how the process works. So a good process will create the required product attributes. The price, which is what the customer sees, relates directly to how much it costs to make. How quickly the customer receives it is related to how quickly we can get it through our process, the flow time. If the customer wants a lot of variety, a lot of customization, then our process has to be flexible to be able to make those different kinds of changes. And in general, we always have to meet or exceed that customer expectation, which means our process has to be a quality process providing no defects. So that in essence, a good process makes a good product. Next time when we get together, we'll talk about there are trade-offs between those product attributes, and that's going to lead us to the operations frontier. See you then.